Hello YouTube people, my name is Dedication and today I'm gonna answer a question from Analog Geometry about my previous video on how to make signs with an FL Studio what gross bit preset that, that I used in that video so let's check this um, example I already made the 4 bars kick drum and kind of bass line like this yeah and then if I play them together um, it will be sounds like this so firstly I'll send this into a free mixer tracks I already put this on the fifth mixer track then I choose cross beat after that this is the default and then um, take a look on the bottom section and there is a sidechain option here just click this I will right click on the top here uh, as you wish as you need I'm usually click uh, right click on here and then after that I'm right click again and then I choose single curve I'll do this the same way on the other bars like this and then um, you can also adjust the parameters here as you want to yep like this and then I'll tweak it down the tension a little bit about maybe 45% so let's check this out how it sounds without grow speed um, the uh, the instruments both both bass and the kick drum not not really glue together so let's hear how it sounds um, with the cross beat side chain yeah uh, if you know this this is uh, have the same function like the kickstart from Nicky Romero but this is the the, the the stock plugin from Apple Studio itself so you can optimize all the things here and this is just uh, one of many many ways to sidechain in FL Studio you can use gross beat and you can uh, use uh, volume automations through the limiter you can use uh, love builder you can use P controller and there are so many ways to sidechain in Avel Studio so maybe uh, I will I will do the, the tutorial next time so this is for the day I think this is enough for sidechaining and gross beat Thank you guys for watching and um, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. Peace.